Hey guys, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media. Now I'm not bringing you a book review. I already posted one of those earlier, but I am basically doing this uh, kind of little, well, I don't exactly know what you'd call it, but I just wanna bring uh, these books to your attention. As you know, I've been playing a Call of Cthulhu campaign most Sunday nights with my friends Ian and Luke. There is the campaign journal that I uploaded uh, last week. But um, I also have some of these kind of solo Call of Cthulhu books that I wanna just quickly talk about. Now, I have four of them. I have Alone Against the Flames, Alone Against the Frost, Alone Against the Dark, and Alone Against the Tide. Now, basically, you do need the um, Call of Cthulhu rulebook, or the Keeper's Manual, or the starter set. You need some dice in my lovely kind of Elder Sign leather dice cup. You have nice Cthulhu, well, Nyalathotep inspired red dice here. And um, it's pretty much plays like a choose your own adventure. You create your character. Uh, they do have the Call of Cthulhu character sheet at the back. And then you make choices and roll the dice. It goes through the rules. And it's a really good way to actually learn the rules. Now, uh, Alone Against the Flames, this was the first one I played. This is basically the starter one. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but really, really fucking creepy. Um, my character, you're basically a college student who's taking a bus trip. Uh, the bus breaks down and then kind of weird shit starts to happen. Um, Alone Against the Frost. Now, this is a really interesting one because you start as a, like a pre-generated uh, character, whereas in Alone Against the Frost, you make your own. In this, you've got like a pre-generated character. You can add skills and stuff. And you've actually got a team of students with you. You're kind of a professor who's going off into the Canadian wilds to uh, do some research. Um, this was so good that I played it once when the adventure ended, I went back and I just started again, like straight away. Um, a lot of fun, very, very difficult, however, but it really does tell a great story. Alone Against the Dark, I haven't played yet. This is a really complicated one. This has four adventurers. Uh, there's a time track that you've got to keep, uh, keep aware of. There are puzzles. Um, phone numbers that you can call and all, all kinds of stuff going on here. So I haven't actually played this one yet, so I'm not going to comment on it. I am, however, going to talk about this. Alone Against the Tide. This is the latest one that I picked up. Uh, and I literally just finished this. Um, I started it this morning, um, played it, and I just finished it. Now, I really enjoyed the game. Um, I ended up using the pre-generated character. You have a choice of either using the male uh, version or the female version. Um, if you do use the pre-generated character, you have 70 skill points to spend to uh, raise your skills and to get new skills and things like that, which I thought was pretty cool. But this one also allows you to create your own character and um, play with it uh, through the adventure. Um, I don't use the character sheet. I actually have the PDF that you can um, kind of alter on here. So it's much easier just doing it on the computer. Uh, you can get that from Chaosium's website, uh, I do believe, and it's completely free, of course. Uh, now, the story behind this is you're a professor from Miskatonic University. One of your former colleagues has passed away. He lives on um, Esbury Island. And you've been tasked to go there and kind of get his personal belongings and anything that is of value to the university. So it starts with you on a ferry uh, going across you, the ferry lands at night. And that's when you have the choices to make. You can go to the estate sale that his widow is holding, or you can go straight to the hotel. Um, and yeah, I can't tell you much more than that because let me tell you my experience with this. I, uh, my character got off the ferry, decided to go to the estate sale. There are some weird characters there. There are some items, uh, six items for sale. Uh, you have a chance to bid on any of them and you kind of make rolls to see if you get the highest bid and whatnot. 
And uh, basically, this is how my story went. Went to the auction, failed every fucking roll, didn't win a thing. Went back to the hotel, woke up in the morning, decided uh, I would go to the police station, see if I could look at the death certificate, the, the police report, because he died under mysterious circumstances. I uh, tried to fast talk the cop, failed the fucking roll. Cop told me to fuck off. Uh, go and harass the widow. All right. So I go to the widow's house. There's a man there who's really pissed off that I'm there. He threatens me with a gun, but I'm just like, fucking whatever. So I go to the widow, uh, go to the widow's house. She invites me and we're talking. There's a knock at the door. It's the police officer uh, who accuses me of trespassing. As I leave, the gentleman that threatened me at the beginning um, was laughing. Like he's clearly got this cop in his pocket. And he's, he mentioned something about um, working the widow or some shit like that. So I get arrested, get put in a jail cell. I managed to pass the lockpick roll, so I get out of the jail cell, and then I fail my stealth roll, and the cop shoots me, and I die. I literally have no fucking idea what Cthulhu shit is going on in on this fucking island. I have no idea what the hell any of it is. I failed all but one roll in this game. My archaeology was 70. When I needed to roll archaeology, I rolled a 71. Absolutely fucking hilarious. Loved every single minute of it. So if you like Call of Cthulhu, if you want to get into the role-playing game, but you don't really know where to start, my recommendation would be something like Alone Against the Flames, Alone Against the Frost, Alone Against the Tide, or Alone Against the Dark. They are great if you just want a quick solo um, Call of Cthulhu adventure that has a cat in the background licking itself. So there you go. Check these out. There'll be another campaign journal coming very, very soon, but I just wanted to share that experience with you because it was absolutely hilarious. Now, eagle-eyed viewers might see something like just here. What is that? That is New Moon, the second Twilight book. Yes, I do plan on doing a review of this in the future, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, please enjoy your weekend, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.